Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Top 5 Plays. We have some long plays and some special guests, so buckle up. Also, at the end of the video, we have a HyperX Cloud 2 giveaway, so make sure to get in on that. Starting us off at the number 5 spot, we have Hi, I'm Egoist on Echo. Red team's down by 5k gold right now, and it's just Egoist and Ezreal to defend the inhibitor turret. He phase dives away from the Dragon Strike, but take a look at the Time Winder. It's going to be setting up a beautiful Chrono Break. He instantly picks up a triple kill. Meanwhile, he flashes to pick up the Quadra on J4. He wants the Penta on Trundle, but Trundle's going to be putting up a fight right now. He almost goes down. He pops the Zonias. Convergence also giving him a nice shield as well, but Ezreal is going to be one to pick up the ace for him. There it is. At the number four spot, we have Oceanic Beast on Orianna. Now, you can't see it. You're going to have to take my word for it, but the blue team is behind 6k gold. That and the red team just acquired another dragon, so this next team fight needs to count. Fiora distracts the red team with her teleport, setting up for a beautiful shockwave into a crescendo right there. Lee Sin almost gets away with the four-man dragon rage, but it's not going to be working out. The blue team acquired the ace. Tristana picks up the triple. Let's take a look at that one again. Great positioning from the ball. Five-man shockwave into a three-man crescendo right there. Beautiful wombo combo. At the number three spot, we have Camp Out on Syndra. His teammates just lost out on a team fight, but he wants to go for some picks. Gets popped up by Rupture and Talon, smells blood. He wants to go for the all in, but Camp Out's ready. Sets up the scatter, stuns him, and takes him down with unleashed power. Meanwhile, Fiora's going to be going down as well, leaving Camp Out just to himself, but he's up to the challenge. He gets Cho'Gath low with Dark Sphere, and with the help of Scuttle, he dodges the Rupture. He's gonna be going for another Dark Sphere, doesn't land it, but the Force of Will will slow down Alistar. Here comes the Scatter, stunning both Morgana and Alistar. She ignites him just before the Headbutt Pulverize combo, flashes away from Cho'Gath's Rupture, comes in with the Force of Will, slowing him right there. She's gonna be thrown down a Dark Sphere, won't land, but the Scatter will. Another Dark Sphere, picking up the kill just before Kalista can get the heal off. She gets distance between her and Kalista, throwing out Dark Spheres everywhere right there. Meanwhile, here comes the Scatter, stunning her. Another Force of Oil, another Dark Sphere with the Thunderlord's degree. Ladies and gentlemen, get a bag of popcorn if you can, because this is a long one. At the number two spot, sent in by Jin Terma on Diana. Take a look at the score, 28 to 11 with an 11K gold difference in favor of the red team right now. And if that wasn't bad enough, they also have Baron, and this is just 25 minutes in the game. Ziggs is going to be teleporting in the top lane to try to stop Diana, but Jin Terma takes the turret down, canceling the teleport. But they're still going to be taking down this second tier tower. There's a lot of pressure in the middle lane as well as the red team continue to push on this inhibitor turret. They want it, but the cannon barrage comes out from Gangplank not doing much. The blue team really want to engage on a fight because it's a 4v3, but the mystic shot's getting Jace low. Meanwhile, Kindred showing you how fed she is by almost obliterating Corky right there. Morgana getting very low. She gets hit with the winner's bite, and she has to flash. Here comes a true shot barrage sniping her from Ezreal. But Diana just finished the second tier turret on the top lane. She's going to be working on the inhibitor turret as Ziggs is going to be going back to stop her. The red team take down their first inhibitor and they're working on their second one right now. Let's take a look at Diana. She's on the inhibitor at this moment in time. Ziggs throwing bombs. They're not landing. But the Crescent into the double lunar. She takes Ziggs out and she continues the push against the red team. Meanwhile, Ezreal trying to take down Gangplank and Corky right now while his teammates are taking down the Nexus turrets. One by one, they're going down. There goes the second one as well. The Nexus is open. Gangplank flashes the Ring of Frost and the Frostforus bomb from Corky taking Lissandra out right there. Brom and Ezreal on the run. The Valkyrie into the flash, but Corky's still going to be going down. Ezreal with great kiting right now. He almost deserves to win this, but it's not going to be working out for him. Gangplank comes around the corner, takes him down. Meanwhile, Diana on the Nexus right now. She dodges the Ziggs ultimate by dashing to a minion. And with the help of Gangplank, they acquire the win. And finally, at the number one spot, we have Dokla on Fiora. Dokla is going to be teleporting to the top lane, going against a familiar face or familiar faces for that matter. Tokla doesn't know that there's a goon squad around the corner as she lunges towards Sneaky. Here they come, starts a grand challenge, reposts Morgana's ultimate and takes down Sneaky, healing back up from the grand challenge. Gets bound down by Shelly right there. 
flashes, lunges away from Meteos' collateral damage, goes in the bushes, comes back into it, hits some vitals, heals back up with a Hydra proc, shows the BM right there as she hits the vital on Shelly, healing back up with the repost, acquiring the double kill. Let's take a look at that one again. So here they come popping out, the grand challenge has started, and that parry on the Morgana ultimate was huge right there. Gets bound down by the binding from Shelly, flashes, here comes Meteos, Dodges the collateral damage right there with a nice lunge. Coming back in, gets the vital, procs the Hydra as well. Shows off that BM. The repost on the minions and Morgana keeping Dokla alive. And our bonus clip comes in from Rotations OG and TSM. Playing some Lee Sin. He's walking around looking to set something up. He sees Bard, lands a Sonic, goes in with a resonating safeguards to award. And Dragon Rage is Victor into his team. That was quite the journey. Let's take a look at that one again. Lands a Sonic, goes in, and perfectly follows him with the resonating. And that Dragon Rage was absolutely beautiful. Also, guys, don't forget about the HyperX Cloud 2 headset giveaway we've got going on right now. I've had a pair for a year, and they are phenomenal. So don't miss out on the opportunity of getting a free pair for yourself. We've got a link for you underneath this video in the descriptions. Go sign up. It's for free. Also, if you want to get a pair for yourself right now, we have an Amazon link as well for 39% off. But other than that, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next video.